Hello guys and welcome back, my name is Fenix and today we're looking at Keeper RL. In the previous episode our vampires here took the big fight and we actually managed to gather a lot of equipment from my enemies here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select my guys, I'm quickly going to give them some jobs to do. First one I want my guys to collect all the items I gathered in here. So we're going to go to orders, fetch items and fetch all of that. That should have us nicely set with pretty much everything that was dropped in here. Maybe as well here as well. Just so we can make sure we pick up everything. All the dwarves are dead. Now I'm about to enter this dungeon here. I have no idea what it is, so let's hope for something decent. Let's go grab this vampire only. So if he does go there, well that's his fault. You know, if he dies, he dies. That's fine. At least I want to know what is here safely. Okay, it's not, too, it's not too bad at all. We can go with all of us. So let's send Vampire Lord over there. And we're going to enter. There is some sort of crazy snake, but it's rather weak. 18 attack, 3 defense. Oh, we can deal with that very easily. Have some bats. Rather nothing spectacular in here to be found. Ring of healing, we can pick it up. Perfect. Okay. Let's see what we have. Open a chest and the ward of power. That's nice. These guys in here had not much to left, really. It was just some sort of little dungeon in here. There's a rat there that kind of annoys us a little bit. Not sure what is that. Ma magma. Well, I don't want to walk on magma. That's for sure. There are some lesser spiders here, not as big and powerful as the one we fight, fought before, so we don't have to worry about them too much. Some bridges, hopefully nobody will walk on magma and nobody will die. Okay, the dwarf is fighting there. Where is he? How do I actually kill him? Or is he like invisible or what? Well, let's check all that here. It's not bad on John here. Actually, quite a lot we can find. Okay, let's just quickly run here. Another snake, we can deal with that. Another stairs downstairs, so we'll go there as well. For now, I just want to make sure that we have everything in here. We're going to pick up some of this equipment, some gold, open the chest. Helmet of telepathy, plus one defense. Oh, we can pick it up. Why not? Some room in here, nothing major. Okay, that's fine. Think we are doing fine in this room. Apparently I'm overburdened now, so that's not good for us, but hey, whatever. I think we got everything in here. Let's check them stairs out. Spider is dead, we'll pick up some potions. And let's check it out. One extra room, not bad. We're doing quite okay actually. Another spider and some bedroom. Who would want to live in this area? Seriously, you would get rid of spiders first. Especially the dwarves, they don't like some evil nation in here. Just dwarves to deal with. Okay, this guy. 39 attack. I will use shield. Just to be safer here, and then we're going to kill him. Awesome. Uh, how do I swap my team? Press U. Select U and control U. I'm going to use this guy. Pick up everything that we have in here, yes. Can I pick up gold? I can, I can, I can. Can't carry too much. Okay, that's fine. That's my level 20 vampire. There should be level 8 vampire somewhere as well. Let's press U. He is here, that's fine. So he will pick up this chain. 
and that's it for now. We're going to equip that straight away for you. And let's go, there's more to discover. There's another spider. Really? Did he die to a simple spider? That's interesting. Vampire Lord Control. That was some bad, bad luck really on us. What a shame with this train, I can't pick it up. There is a lot to explore in here, and there is a water elemental I'm not particularly that keen on facing. This is a very moment in time, so I will probably send this team back and hope they come back just fine. So they can drop the, all the items, and I will probably drop a few ogres with this team. In the meantime, everybody else in here is doing actually quite fine. We have plenty of equipment. I don't even have to have them working in here at all. I can get rid of forges and everything. Because I have so many weapons now. I think that makes sense. Well, if we get rid of forges, then we will not, won't be getting any more shamans and all other rubbish units. So, manufacturers, installation orders, remove constructions, yes. Remove them. We'll keep torches though. They look nice. And we may have another sparring room in here. Build. So maybe we'll do that. Training room. I'm going to drag it here. And then people can be training there as well. Okay, that's awesome. Doing a great job. I want to build a throne room as well soon. Because we'll be using it for be using that to kind of antagonize everybody on the map. As soon as you build a front room, everyone hates you and they will all come to kill you. But that's at least the plan. Where's my vampire? Only back! Okay, that's fine. They can come back. All my imps will do the jobs as well for me, so that's fine. I may actually place more of them so they can actually react to dangers fast. Only four imps left. Not surprised they struggling to build things for me. I have quite a few now. I spend a lot of mana. And I'm surprised in getting from torturing this poor one guy that we caught on the very, very beginning of the game. We got him and he stayed with us. We are torturing him like crazy. How is my keeper doing? Level 7, not bad. Not ideal, but not tragic. Okay, since my team came back, we can as well use them and go back and kill the water elemental, so let's... Disbound this team. Disbound this team and create a new one. We're going to have Vampire Lord being a leader of the team. Then Vampire and some of the Ogres. I'm going to throw them all so they can actually react to the danger. And we'll see how it goes. It's kind of risky to send them all there. But I have some orcs to defend me if anything happens, so it's not too bad, I guess. You can select the team. Where is my vampire guy? Here it is. Control it. Okay, team. Where was it going? All the way upstairs, I think. And then moving on from there. A lot to travel, but luckily now I have imps that will be picking up the items like crazy. Look at that. All the items in here. Just make sure that everything is still selected. There is some weapons on the floor. So quickly, orders, fetch items, all of that. Teams and let's go. Maybe there will be dragons somewhere to fight as well. That would be nice. We've been going to this stairs here. So that's where we're going to go. 
something here as well, so let's go there. By there, we'll kill that. Open the chest. Nothing in the chest anymore, okay, that's fine. There's only dwarf corpse, nothing amazing here. Let's go use the stairs and deal with the water elemental that was found in here. Yes, that's the guy I want to deal with. Why do I have a rubbish leather? Why don't I have that equipped? That's better. Why don't I have that equipped? That's better. Equip that. Dangerous beast and enemies. That's not ideal amulet, really. I would rather have different amulet from here, but... Anything good? No. Okay. Get ready for the water elemental. Somewhere in here. Is it dwarf? I can deal with the dwarf. Pretty confident that we can actually win that. For whatever reason, we dropped a lot of our equipment. Okay, what do we have? Word of power causes explosion around the spellcaster. No bad. Escape. Dexterity, you can throw that. Makes it easier to hit. And magic shield, yes, we're going for that. Alright. Where is the water elemental? He was somewhere here. We still have shield, so I want to fight it. Why I have a shield? He has quite a powerful attack, 55. Potion of blindness. I'm going to throw it. In this direction. Blind, 15 turns. Awesome. I want to kill it before it can recover its sight. The sneak attack water elemental. Okay, great. Bad misses apparently, that's fine. And it's dead. What is this? Kraken. Really? 25 attack? We can deal with that. Kraken is nothing. He's not even evil at all. He's just neutral enemy there. In the meantime, my dudes in here are cleaning up the entire area around us. Look at that. Lever gloves, I don't need them. Okay. Quickly here. Okay, let's go downstairs and see what we have in here. There is a wolf. Rather weak, we can deal with that. What did we lose? A jackal's arm, that's fine. No problem. Over on the edge of the map, that's fine. As well. Okay, ogres, finally, they cut off. Nice to see you guys. Thank you for coming. We have some gold, nice. I will have enough gold to build the room eventually. Who is this dude? A non-chief. 23 attack, defense, wielding a sword. But gnomes are not against us. That's fine, they're kind of neutral enemy in here. And the bandy. I've got them pathetic bandits. <laughs> it's just sad. I actually have a nice sword though. Nothing amazing though. Let's go here. There is a passage over there. Ogres won't be able to follow me, but that's fine. Kraken that will not attack me. There's some bats that don't even bother me at all. There is a snake. We're going to kill it. Come on, snake. Okay, so there will be passage here, obviously, as well. Very complicated, complicated labyrinth here. A lot to discover. Mostly my main priority is gold. We haven't lost anybody yet. I don't want to go to lower levels until I actually discover everything in here. I wonder if the ward upstairs works as we are underground or not. I don't think there is any means to check it. But then the underground works when we are upstairs, so maybe it does. We see one turn at a time, so it's nothing super fast. 
Okay, let's go to the stairs and move level down. Nice. Fire resistance, I will take that. I have one already, it's fine. Open the chest, poison resistant, I have one. Rats, ready? Open the chest and teleport. Teleport isn't bad, I can have it. So far so good, really. As long as nobody attacks our main base, we are fine. Armor enchanter, man. If I get level 6 armor, I will enchant it with the enchantments and keep it. Some gold. I wish there was like a shop that you could set the shop and you can sell things yourself that you pick up because we pick up so much, it's unbelievable. Look at that. And the guys are actually attacking gnomes, I think, sometimes. Okay, another gnome warrior here. Nothing... Nothing of interest, to be honest. I'd rather pour this dungeon. Made a big circle here. And a shopkeeper. Can I talk to you? No. Automanton, whatever that is. We're going to take it. Glove of Strength. Let's take that as well. Is that a good armor? No, we're going to take it. Carry too much, that's fine. Okay, guys, that's it, really. That's all there is in this dungeon. Well, we're going to leave it. I'm going to grab my guys, we're going to focus on my main base and see how it goes. People are training nicely. Even them, little imps are training for me. So everybody's doing a decent job here. Still meant to collect all that, and they haven't. Look at that, golden pieces there. Why aren't they doing it? Orders, fetch items, fetch everything. Yeah, fetch that. I need all that. Hopefully somebody will actually go and do it. That was rather uneventful dungeon run, but hey, whatever. I have enough gold to build things as well, so that's awesome. We're going to do that. We're going to build the throne, which is here. We're going to place it over there. Some gold. We're going to go to installations and install some statue statues as well, so I can have more minions coming. Awesome. Make sure my forces will return, then I will equip them and will go to fight somebody else. I have to do it at night time though, because the vampires cannot leave at daytime, so we have to kind of maneuver around it. Now that the guys are actually working now, they should bring some gold as well as they come. And everybody should be happy with it. Okay, how are you doing here? I'm still torturing this guy. I don't even need him anymore, I have so much mana. I can't spend it on anything because, hey, I spent it already. So we're doing alright, we're doing really alright. Let's equip this guy with some proper things in here. Drop that. You want the best gloves you can get. I can go for strength. Okay, I equip Vampire with quite a few things in here. He's going to collect quite a powerful armor. We're going to give him also some of the scrolls that we have in here. There were some scrolls that he could use to enchant his armor and he hasn't used them, for whatever reason. I have no idea who has them now. Maybe by controlling, can I actually do that? Control? No, he doesn't have them anymore. Well, that was not very good. That's fine. Okay guys, that's thing I think that's where we're going to finish the episode. I will come back to you in the next one at night time. I'm going to go and raid some villages and kill people and those do all this good stuff. So I'll see you guys next time.